Oh, hello, and what's happening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? This is Mr. Baker, the music maker, coming at you with another Chrome Music Lab tutorial. This one's from one of my favorite songs of all time, Fireflies by Owl City. People have been requesting it. Super dope little intro figure. Let's hear it. Yes, indeed. There it is. That's that quirky little intro melody there. This song is near and dear to my heart. When I was an elementary music teacher, I would sing this with my first graders. They'd all get on stage and sing it. It was amazing. I remember when it came out in the 2009, I was in community college studying music at the time before I went to the university. But that's neither here nor there. I just love this song. Thank you for requesting it. We're going to restart, build it from scratch. Got to go to settings first. Click that little gear icon on the bottom. We're going to change our length from four bars to eight bars. We're going to double it. We're going to start on not middle C, but middle D sharp slash E flat. It's three below the C. It's this little hashtag looking sign, which in music means sharp. And E flat is the same note, just you call it something different. That's a different topic altogether. Range, we're going to go two octave to three octave. Boom. Length, eight bars. Start on middle D sharp slash E flat. Range, three octaves. Click the blue check. Now we're ready to rock and put in some notes. Now this is a little weird of a melody. It spans over three octaves. We have divided by one, two, three. These thick blue lines separate them right here. See that? And the drums at the bottom. We don't need any drums. Before we put any of those notes in though, let's change our tempo from 120 to 184. What? That's super high. I don't think it'll let you drag and drop. You can always double clip it and double click it and press 184, enter, boom, and now the tempo is 184. That is the speed of the song. It's a quick one. It has these moving notes kind of hopping around. None of them really are uh, close to each other. And that's what makes it kind of quirky and weird sounding, but it's cool. So we're going to kind of build it from left to right and only skip some spaces here and there. Mostly, we're, we're not going to have any breaks in it. There's going to be some throughout, but there's no notes on top of each other either. It all just moves from left to right, starting on this B, then this B. And then this high D. So in this octave, we have this, it's a B flat actually, because we're in the key of E flat. We have this one right here, this same color uh, purplish right there. And then we have the orange up top. Then do another one of those purple, another one of those purple. And then like that, let's hear that. Yep, we're on the right track. Almost sounds like an old iPhone ringtone, right? The whole marimba iPhone ringtone, something similar. This gives you that kind of vibe right off the bat. All right, let's keep going. Skip one after this. This is one of the skips we got. And put that kind of uh, burnt orange color right there. Then you should be at the gray section, which is going to start with another one of those. So check your spacing. There are no spaces except after this purple right there. And that is bar one. I'm just going to keep rolling, baby. Got that purple right after this orange again. Then we got this green. Then that darker or that, or that burnt orange kind of right there and then that green again and then this purple up top then skip one after the purple like we did there and put that little orange one right there again let's hear it boom we're on the right track like i said check the spacing make sure you don't have anything stacked on top of each other this is a linear pattern that flows left to right the only spaces we have so far are right there and right there, those are the only empty ones. Now we're ready to start bar three, which starts with this A flat right here. And this E flat. I'm not gonna describe the colors. It's kind of a pain to describe these colors out loud. I'm just gonna put this in for you and let you know when there's spacing. There's no spacing in this third bar. If you notice, it starts with this. A flat, E flat, C, B flat, C, E flat, E flat, A flat. Those are the names of the notes. But those are the colors. They're kind of weird colors to describe. Dark, navy blue, magenta, whatever. Just save it for that. Check your spacing. Let's hear it so far. Yeah, pretty cool. We're almost halfway done. Bar four is looking a little like this. It starts with nothing. That's one space we got to have right there. Then this A flat, C, B flat, lower C, B flat, E flat, F. So that one, the only space in the bar is at the very beginning. Then this 
navy blue, red. Well, I'll spare you all the color descriptions, but yeah, those are the names in the notes. Now we're halfway done. Let's hear it. Yeah, pretty cool. Now the second half, as you realize by just list, list, listening to the song, is pretty repetitive. So we're gonna keep that same kind of thing going for the second half, only very slightly. But it starts almost the same. It doesn't start exactly the same as it started in the beginning, but it's the same idea, kind of bouncing around of these similar note groups. This is weird to put in because like I said, none of them are close to it. These are kind of close to each other. These just hop around. And there's one space that it was in the same space we had at bar one is in bar five right here. So it goes in order like that. What is that? B flat, B flat, D, D, F, B flat, E flat. Cool. Only space is the second to last one right there. Now ready for bar six, which looks a little something like this. Boom. E flat, B flat. F, E flat, A flat, G, first G we have on this one, E flat, E flat. No spaces in that bar, no spaces in bar six. Check that again. These are kind of close to each other, so easier to visualize. Bar five is super weird. Let's hear it so far, we only got two bars left. Cool, I like that little turnaround, that little melody at the end. Super pretty, super cool. Al City's dope songwriter. I couldn't tell you another one of his songs, honestly, but uh, <laughs> I did that one. So thanks for writing it, bro, if you ever see this. So A flat to start bar seven. Skip one after that. Got a C, E flat, another A flat, B flat, skip one, E flat. Okay, so there's two skips in this bar, which we've not seen yet. Each bar either has no skips or one skip. This one has one right after this navy blue, and then right after this uh, magenta kind of color right there, mauve, whatever we want to call that. All right, last bar, not least. Here we go, starts with the C, down to A flat, then a C, B flat, C, E flat, F, E flat. Low E flat, right there. Okay, that one has no skips as well. So this bar seven was the only one with two skips in it. Now we have the entirety of the song. Super quirky, hops around all over the place. Pause it if you need to, to check your spacing. Let's hear this bad boy. Very cool, and then then the glockenspiel part comes in, the little the little bell part on the little metal xylophone thingy, glockenspiel. Beautiful, thanks for tuning in, y'all. No drums in this one. How about, before we go, let me put in some drums real quick. Let me see if we put like a little uh, trap hip hop beat, just for fun, just something repetitive. Ooh, ah, do, 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 do. Ooh, ah, oh. Let's hear that. <laughs> uh. Yeah, there you go. Throw some drums in there if you want. That's a quirky little cool hip hop peep under it. Change the speed of it. Let's hear it uh, super fast. That's dope. Super cool song, super cool melody. Thank you for the request. Love this song. Keep the requests coming, y'all. Thank you for all the support. I love and appreciate all of you. Smash that like and subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace and love. Later.